Hello everybody, the Iron Hollow here, and welcome to Resident Evil 4, Part 1. So, this is... oh, I only have two difficulties. Well, I guess I'm playing on normal. So, this is just an amazing game. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. It's just like the GameStop debacle. Except, instead of hedge funds, it was nuking an entire city. Similar enough, similar enough. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Corny, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. So, yeah, reliable people to be working with, eh, Leon? It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. You know, these two can't be that bad. They did offer him a smoke. But Leon likes gum. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. I mean... <laughs> Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? 
Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. You think a guy who went through the training to become a <laughs> Secret Service operative would uh, actually know the name of the president's daughter? Not that way, cowboy. Oh, come on. Let me leave. Just, okay, fine. We'll follow your guys' routes. So, yeah, we're just going to be playing this. And this is one of those games I know people like. Ooh. Let's see. Pop. Pop. Unfortunately, we can only play on normal, so I haven't actually played this game on PC except when I initially got- Oh, I missed one! Where'd he go? Damn it! I thought for sure I'd gotten them all. In any case, this is one of those games that's sort of like, you know, people play it because it's so famous and so popular that if they're feeling like they need to rejuvenate their channel or something, but... I think I just really want to play it, especially because, technically speaking, we're going up to Resident Evil Village, which is, you know, the next game coming out, but, you know, we got a sneak preview. It looks a little bit more dated than how we'd expect it to look, but, you know, it could be worse. You're not a giant woman. Uh, excuse me. Sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. He's taking it phenomenally well that we broke into his house. Sorry to have bothered you. Whoa! Actually, no, there's the appropriate reaction. Freeze. I said freeze! Chill, chill, relax. Don't worry, guys, I'll hold him back. You all saw it, he was coming right at me. Well, I'm sure the cops who came with me are grand. Shit. It's okay, Leon, they'll be fine. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. You heard that, guys. I have free reign. Okay, let, let's take a look around, actually. Is there anything in this room? No. Oh. Looks like they killed a lot of people. I hope Ashley's okay. I'll be Leon's conscience for this playthrough. He's not a zombie. Also, I did put on subtitles, I thought, but apparently they don't have them for some of this, so you're just gonna have to bear with me and listen for what people are saying. I mean, how how else would you leave through a house that you just broke into? <laughs> leap through the window on the second floor? <laughs> Woohoo! You are also vulnerable to being kicked. Uh, bump. Ooh, wow. I thought for sure that would have hit me. I need to get used to the fact that you can't move while... While, uh... None of these people are zombies at all. Why, they might just be regular terrorists. Seeing as how they did kidnap the president's daughter and all, there's got to be something going on. Let's go see how our partners are doing. Well, we won't be leaving this way. Antonio, Alejandro, you guys okay? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so it's looking like our friends are not not doing so great. Not doing so hot. But you know what? At least they got to have their last smoke before they went out. Or did he just offer me a smoke? Oh, yeah, he didn't smoke one himself. Okay, so we got to appreciate the fact that he had a cigarette. And we got to appreciate the generosity of him offering the cigarette to us. So that was nice. 
And yeah, I'm gonna drop a save here. Now, let's see. I do have save files, but they're all ancient, so we're just gonna save over them. <laughs> One, three. I didn't exactly get far when I got this game again. <laughs> so, let's see. We got some hostile birds up ahead. Oh, shit. Okay, I got him. I got him. It's not so bad. Let's see, we got some 400 pesetas, and a hand grenade. Some heavily armed birds. They might be part of the terrorist organization. <gasps> Puppy! Oh, let's help him out. I don't know if that's a puppy or a wolf, but... Be free, little one. Be free, back into the forest. Okay. We did our good deed for today. Mission's accomplished. We don't need to go any further. We don't need to save Ashley. We've got we've done what we needed to do here. Well, those don't look good. Is that a Oh god, bear trap. Can I lure you guys into your own traps? Okay. Okay, okay, alright. Fantastic work from me. I just immediately ruined my mission. Because clearly this is going to be an absolutely no-hit run. You know, we're, we're never going to take another... We're not going to take damage ever again. That's it. Everybody only gets one. I gotta give them, you know, some semblance of hope. Let them hit me at least once. This is when Leon, now that he's been hurt, his secret super agent skills are going to kick in and he's going to become invincible. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, how you doing? Ha ha ha, gotcha. You okay? You're alright. You guys are also not a fan of being stabbed. I know you're trying to do it to me. I can, uh... Return the favor. I can show you it's not nice to stab people. Let's see. We got some pesetas. We got some green herbs. I actually love peseta coins. I used to have them because we used to visit Spain all the time when I was younger. But I... Oh, wow. Yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Guess there's no sex discrimination here. I better find her fast. So yeah, Leon sort of moved up in the world. He went from being straight from being a rookie cop to being a literal member of the Secret Service. So, you know... Kudos to him. I wish I had that kind of progression in my work. Hey, dudes. Where are you guys running to? Alright, well, they're none of my concern. That ain't my... <gasps> oh, for God's sakes. Okay, I'm actually getting hammered. I am getting absolutely, completely, utterly shrecked, guys. But you know what? It could be worse. We're just going to continue on the mission and try not to die. We got 53 bullets and a skip in our step. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. A playing manual? <laughs> playing manual. Control figuration reflected here. Press R while reloading. Kicks approaching enemies that are stunned. Changing the inventory screen. Okay, that one's actually really good. Okay, so I'll take a look at that in a while. When we need it as appropriate. Hey, a guy! Actually, you know that spring in my step? That skip in my step? Might actually just be a hobble. That's... Ooh, that's not good. <gasps> Target spotted. Alright. They've got a chicken. I don't think I'm equipped to deal with this kind of job. We're going to have to pull back. I actually don't know how to get out of this screen. Leon? Would you like to put away the binoculars? Uh, hello, Leon? 
I'm literally trapped, guys. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Okay, we can take this side path. Let's not go directly into the village just yet. Who knows, there might be some nice things to find around. Alright, they got chickens. Confirmed chickens. Hello, ma'am, have you seen this woman? Oh, read her. Perfect. We're gonna wanna grab that, combine that with this. Oh, hi! Okay, it turns out stealing their weed makes them hostile. Understandable, really. I should have seen this coming. Oh my god! We're gonna casually leg it. Oh my god. Run, Leon! If I recall... Is it over here? Yes, this is what I wanted for my super drugs. We got a green herb, red herb, and a yellow herb. We're going to use them all. It's going to increase our max health. It's going to give us the spring back in our steps so that we can outrun these crazy people with weapons. <laughs> oh, he's grand. He's fine. Look at him. He's okay. Let's get in here. The slightly unnumbered Leon, they have a village of people. Why are these people? Don't worry, Leon, it won't take long. We just need to hold out until the giant woman shows up and seduces them all. Chainsaw. Damn, chainsaw. This flimsy piece of wood should hold them. Son of uh, I guess it's a good thing they keep their houses in such terrible states of disrepair. We might be in trouble, you know, getting into them ourselves. Mm, small by various items, nothing of value except for bullets. We'll take those. Grab this. Come on. Oh, now that's something we really want. Can we knock this down? Ooh, chainsaw guy bed is heavily stained. It's as if no one slept in it for quite some time. Make a path. Come on, dude. Fall over for me. If I recall correctly... Oh my gosh. Oh my... That's a lot of people, dude. Let's go run into the other house. If the chainsaw guy wants to find us, he can at least put up a little bit of a chase. Because I have no interest in getting decapitated. Can I... Uh, I think you can stab the locks off. Yeah. This sounds like a problem the heavy ordinance can solve. And if nothing else, I'm sure that uh, Leon's uh, able to appreciate a good old-fashioned shotgun. This is my boomstick, baby. This is also how I feel when people come into my room. I think we all wish we could do this sometimes. Come on, come on, come on. Show me those beautiful pearly whites. That seems to be, like, the entire goddamn city population in there. Okay, this is a populated room. We are just going to casually throw a grenade down. Can we combine this with this? No, we can't. Damn, I remember that was a trick in another game. Okay, so we're going to probably slap back on the pistol. Ooh, 10,000 gold. Nice. Gold pesetas. 1,400 pesetas, 1,500 pesetas, 1,900 pesetas, or <laughs> 900. 1,900. Yeah. Really damn nice, but I feel like it would be an excessive amount to be giving us this early. 
Oh, you can't stab me if I'm punching or shooting. Okay, that was a tough guy. Please just stay down. Stay down. Why can't people in this village just appreciate being stabbed and then run away from me? I'm just giving them, you know, a typical American greeting. I have several questions. Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo? Yeah. Yeah, they are Leon. That's that's where they're off to. Resident Evil 4. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Wait a second, how do we have intel on this place? I thought we specifically didn't have intel on this place. <gasps> they leave things behind after you kill them when the thing ends? I thought it all disappeared. Okay, right, we're gonna loot the hell out of this place real quick. So, bear with me. Because I saw something sparkly up here when I shot the guy. A spinel. You were the loser? Oh, I was, I was the loser of the game, you didn't even know you were playing. Oh man, I need to finish Steven Universe. That was a fun show. Do, 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 do. And Spinel was such a cool character to be introduced. Okay, yeah, we're pretty beaten up, so... Maybe we can find more first aid supplies hanging around. Nothing. The shelf is nailed to the wall. Nothing out of the ordinary here. What a sinister looking fellow. I'm gonna put a round in him, you know, just to be sure. There's an unpleasant odor coming from the kettle. It sure doesn't smell like a refreshing drink to me. Alright, so another incendiary grenade. You know, these people can't be that innocent if they have this much firepower lying around. The food started to rot, but no one's thrown it away. <laughs> Typical. Typical. I'm just in a town full of teenagers. You stay over there, Mr. Chicken. Won't need to get into any arguments with you. I'm always worried enough with how many people I have to deal with in this place. In fairness, though, I think we handled that situation rather well, you know. We did. We went in, we killed a couple of dozen people. We walked out. Everyone else walked out. They might actually be zombies. Ooh, another red herb. Perfect. Okay, so I think that's everything for now. Let's check the tower. Never hurts to check the tower. What's that old saying? The best loot tends to be at the top of the stairs. Shotgun shells. Nice. <laughs> and apparently Leon has knees of adamantium. Locked and won't open. There's some kind of symbol under the door. It's a reverse V for Vendetta. That's another movie I need to check out. God damn it, I'm just having a nostalgia trip here. Okay. So, we've gotten everything, I think. Let's continue on the beaten path. Anyone loitering? Anyone hanging around in here? Nope. Man, these people take church real seriously. Alert order. Okay. Recently, there's been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get into contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held at our old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. 
The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that is an intr I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Okay, okay, a little bit ominous. So they knew more about me than I knew about them coming into this situation. It's because of my sweet, sweet jacket. That's how they knew I was an agent. Let's see. Another village. Well, actually, no, this is just the farm. Bump. Can I hit that one? Come on, Leon. Damn it. Damn it. I don't trust you running at me with your damn pitchfork. Happy feet, quick hands. There you go. Happy feet, quick hands. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, God. I want to have another hup, hupity hup moment. It was an event that was pretty funny. It'll involve happy feet and moving around. I'm sure we'll get to it eventually. <laughs> Ooh, another typewriter. I don't think we need to save here yet, though. Two shotgun shells? I'll take them. Sold. Ooh, shiny. Bop, bop. A pearl pendant. Always nice to find a good old-fashioned pearl. We've got our pearl, we got a spinel, now we just need a couple of other gems, and we have a whole cast. Well, oh, let's see what I was shooting. About blue medallions. Fifteen blue medallions, seven in the farm, eight in the cemetery. For those who will destroy ten or more will be awarded. The rest is illegible. <coughs> so it appears these guys have a little bit of a shooting contest going on. For these things, if I could actually land the shots on them, two out of fifteen. So there's seven here, I think. Ooh. Chicken egg. Semanifique. Yunk. My man. Keep you going a good bit of protein for get you through the day. And technically we're just in a survival situation, so we're gonna need anything we can eat. Like this. Just chomp down on a spinelli and great right through that's good for your teeth. Is there anyone up there? There is! Hey dude, how you doing? Oh shit. Alright, this guy's hiding himself. Don't worry. Self-hiding bot. Wait a minute. That really was a self-hiding body. Damn dude disintegrated. Handgun ammo! Yeah! Whoa! I actually panicked when that guy appeared. Ooh! Another one of these. Don't mind if I do. Okay, that guy actually scared the hell out of me. On the plus side, we got lightning hands. Let's see. Can I jump down here? Check the box. A beer stein. Nice. A very German. Although, this is supposed to be in... Spain? Rural Europe. That could be quite a few places. All we know for certain is that we're looking for stuff. Like this. Bop. Anything in here? Ah, oh, stinking pool of manure. Anything good hidden in this place? Nope. Huh. Oh, there's another one. If I land this shot, I'm the greatest marksman who's ever lived. Nope. Oh my god. 
You know what? I'll get it in a minute when I get slightly closer. This disqualifies me from the title of greatest marksman ever, but you know what? I'm more interested in getting the pretty blue neck or necklace shot. It's uh, taking its sweet time to get to me. There we go. That's five. It's seven in the fireman said? So you know what? We're actually getting pretty close to it. Maybe there's another one in here? Quiet chickens, calm, I am not here for you. Hmm. Not one here. Maybe there's one hiding over here with the cows. <gasps> Are you not the puppy I helped earlier? Hmm, seemingly not. Else I think he'd be slightly happier to see me. Oh boy. I can't believe this. These are all dead bodies. I see some people are disagreeing with local politics. Okay, so there's not one in here yet. We've already checked this. God, I am just running in circles. Is there one hiding in here with you, cows? So I hear you are hiding medallions. That's the way we need to go, is it? Yeah, okay. We need to go this way, so we probably want to hang around here for another minute. Because I'm positive I'm missing something. Village files. About the blue medallions. So there's seven in the farm and eight in the cemetery. So by that logic, there should still be two more here. Unless there's two more up ahead. In which case, I am making a monkey of myself. Which wouldn't be the first time, and I wouldn't be surprised. Still, doesn't hurt to finish taking a look around. Aha! We are geniuses, everybody. Absolute ingeniouses. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six, six. So that means there's got to be one more here. Boy, oh boy, but where could it be? Hmm. It's a wooden box. Looks like it would break easy. We got another spinel. Alright, we got another easily broken barrel. Keep us going, you know, keep you in the loop. A lot of easily broken things. Hmm. Okay, right, so. I guarantee it's going to be somewhere incredibly obvious that I've probably looked already. Oh boy, I guarantee I'm going to feel pretty stupid when I find it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I saw my laser catch on something. Oh, it wasn't a complete waste of time either. We got a chicken egg out. Cute, yeah. I knew it. For geniuses, everybody, 7 out of 15. We're heroes. Let's keep on the move. No one can ever say that we're not able to count at least to 15. Alright. So, that was seven in the village, which means we gotta find at least eight of them up ahead in the cemetery. 
where is the cemetery gonna be? Oh, X? Why X? Oh my god, run, Leon. Run your ass. X at C! What? What the hell kind of layout for buttons is that? Okay. Alright. I didn't see that coming. I don't think anyone could have seen that coming. X and C, what the fuck? What kind of dumbass thought that was a good combination of things to press? I would never in a billion years have thought X and C would be combined together. Okay, I feel pretty scummed out by that. So, yeah, we've died. Thank you, game. I feel actually disgusted, but you know what? Fuck you. Oh, you pieces of shit. Fuck you guys. Is this a complete waste of ammo? Yes, yes it is. Do I feel vindicated in it? Yes, yes I do. Pricks. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so I just got clowned. Apparently I have the IQ of a wet noodle. But you know, at least we got our spinels. Didn't miss anything? No, it's just some bats. Okay. Let's keep on moseying on. Alright, that guy ran away. A little bit weird. If they didn't know where we're here, they sure as hell do now. Really? Really? You know it's dangerous to play with dynamite. Yeah. Real dangerous. Not the most stable stuff, dynamite. I'm gonna stay away from that spider. I don't want nothing to do with that. Okay. Well, he handled himself for us, so that was kind of nice. Oh, come on. <laughs> this is why you don't give monkeys explosives, everybody. Why are you dodging? What are you dodging? Nothing. Anyone else in here? No. Okay, well they had a hand grenade, but they decided it would be a much better idea to throw dynamite at us. I'm not overly upset about that, because I rather like having hand grenades. What's this? Oh man, let's see what the birds are hiding this time. A red eye... a red cat's eye. I gotta admit, guys, it's kind of a step down from your usual hand grenades that the birds be hustling, but you know what? Can't complain too much. Maybe if the birds are slightly less well-armed, we'll have a better chance of surviving. <laughs> uh, I think that's everyone out here. At least I don't see anyone else. So this is the farmhouse. So this is the old building beyond the farmhouse. Must be where they're keeping Ashley anyways. Gonna grab some bullets. Gonna grab some money. Gonna hit a save file up. Save successful. Beautiful. Let's see. Actually, was there a way you could go over here? Can I push this aside? No. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, dokie. Let's go see what's making all that banging. <gasps> I almost ran face first into an explosive charge. Remember, the best shield you have is your face. Green herb, keep us going. Thank God the weed from the Arclay Mountain survived and spread to Europe somehow. 
I need to stop sprinting forward in a place that's littered with mines or booby traps. All right. Well, what's in the box? Ooh, it's Christmas. Ah, uh, a little rough, don't you think? Oh, you're not like them? No. You? Okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. My god. Perfect. The big cheese. What? The giant lady. Zunkle. Oh god, he just completely clapped us. <laughs> yeah, right, Leon? Okay, number of times killed. God, that's just embarrassing. So... We're going to call it here. I'm going to save, and when we load in next, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. This was part one of Resident Evil 4, and I'm not counting this death. This death was painful and stupid, and I don't like it. So, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. I'll see you all later.